All right, guys, this is one of the last packages we've been waiting for. It's a surprise what's in here, right? All right, we're not gonna say it yet, right? All right, I think we should open it. I'm not gonna give you a hint what it is. Okay, what's the hint? Coben Fiverr. Hey! <laughs> all right, all right. Guys, check me out. Yesterday, I picked up this carbon hood. The reason for it is I'm going out the hood with the exhaust and I did not want to cut up my factory hood. I wanted to keep this thing for the future intact. So I went out and got a carbon hood. I love this style with the vents. It's gonna let out heat, let out trapped air out of the hood and it just makes the car look so much more aggressive. But anyhow, I bought it for those reasons. It looks awesome and to cut that guy, I didn't want to cut the factory one. I wanted to see what the factory hood would weigh. So I have it on a scale now. I always thought this thing weighed nothing. It's it's aluminum, it's extremely, extremely light. However, I would've thought it was less. I would've thought it was like 15 pounds or something. Comes up just a hair over 25, but this thing is like five ounces. So really it's probably like high 24s. Let's take the carbon one off and see what that weighs. Um, I didn't really do this for the weight savings. I wasn't expecting there to be any, but after seeing that this thing is 25 pounds, there might be a little bit of weight savings going carbon, which, hey, weight savings is always a plus. Let's go! Got the hood off the Supra, got it on the scales, and the results are, okay, let me make sure to really center it. Oh my goodness, I did not see this coming. It's on there, the results are bullshit. <laughs> so the carbon hood, if you're curious, is half a pound lighter than a factory hood. So with that being said, I say we go no hood, baby. Look at this, beautiful. And talk to me, carbon fiber. What do you know about carbon fiber? It's just like this color that's on here. It's like the color that's on there, yep. You know why we picked it? Why? Because it's super light. That's my girl. Let's go, let's take this off. Good job, baby. Good job. All right, rip it off. I'm so excited to see what's inside. This came just in time for my birthday. Yeah. Oh! What? Are you going to show the race family now? Almost. All right, race family. You guys heard carbon fiber. You've seen the shape of the box. I'm sure a lot of you guys can already guess what we're opening here. I... I don't expect running a six to come easy, so I, I'm really trying to go the extra mile. I'm not leaving no rocks unturned, man. Events like Florida 2K, the rules are very chilled. This year, they're now allowing cars to, to run methanol fuel. Compared to, say, when we go to World Cup, there's turbo requirements, weight requirements. At Florida 2K, Texas 2K, those type of street car shootouts, um, street car takeover, those type of events, your car can weigh whatever you want it to weigh. You can have as big as a turbo as you want, as big as an engine as you want. The rules are so chilled that at events now, like Florida 2K, I'm gonna be going up against big blocks, twin pro mod turbos, just unreal cars. So just to give myself the best possible chance at an event like that, I'm just trying to shave weight wherever I can. A few months ago, I told you guys I wanted to shave 200 pounds off the car, and that wouldn't have been possible without this purchase. So it's almost ready to show it to you guys. A little more box removal. Wow. Are ready to show the waist family? You're ready to show them? Uh-huh. Almost done. All right, you ready? You show them, you show them. Hope and five for the one. Let's go! We've been waiting for the big race, baby. Hey, race family, check this out. These are TBT, shout out TBT Carbon Factory. These guys are in Dominican Republic. Our carbon fiber headlight scoop came from those guys. I have this from them. I have, I thought it was a few different things. I forget now. That came from them. I have these uh, like little brake duck blockers carbon pieces that go here that i've never installed i got that from them i thought there was more stuff but i i can't even remember um but anyhow you know what's, all carbon fiber? what's up oh 
this. Uh huh. That. That. And this. No more. Look, and this. Mm -hmm. And the back of the Supra. Mm -hmm. Yep. Guys, so these doors are insanely light. Like just by switching to these doors, we should save probably about a hundred pounds. We've been waiting for these. We've been waiting for like months. So check this out. So no more mirrors. It's got the little mirror delete. So no more, no more side mirrors. I did want the factory door handle to be installed. So they already, it comes already cut yeah, to mount the, to mount the factory handle. This is pretty cool. His little logo in inside the clear. <laughs> She says we also got another one right over here. So the other doors on that side guys I did elect for the Lexon glass. I never thought my car would get this far, but again, I am Really committed to the drag racing back in the day. I enjoyed driving to car shows. I enjoyed Street racing. I don't street race this car anymore car shows are fun quote-unquote, but that's not my passion I don't I can go the rest of my life without going to a car show and won't miss it at all. Whereas racing, I just love to do that. And last year at an event like Florida 2K, I was the only car competing with freaking AC, the only car with huge front brakes, the only car with pretty much a full exhaust, the only car, like the when I say the only car, I mean the only car in the top, even 10, in the top five, like the real fast, fast cars. Everyone had drag brakes. Everyone had a fender exit exhaust, a hood exit exhaust, just to save the weight. So this year we did our titanium up pipe. That's that's that little exhaust pipe right there weighs two pounds. So I'm saving like 15 pounds on exhaust work. I saved 30 something pounds on brakes. I I mean overall I, I saved a ton of weight. I went tubular subframe that was close to 30 pounds. I went fuel cell saved weight on that. The list goes on and on. In another video or another time, I'll discuss all the weight savings. But this is something that I can throw on for an event like that where the rules are just so chilled. And then I can always throw my factory doors back on. Still have powered windows. I still have a sound system in the car. All glass. But for an event like this where anything goes really, why not shed an easy 100 pounds? So these things look incredible, man. These guys' attention to detail, their quality of work is really next level. I love how these doors have the built-in frame. I love that. So we'll see how they look in carbon. My my idea, I haven't seen them on the car yet, but my idea is to eventually get them painted, get the bottom half painted. And I'm gonna tint this glass. I'm gonna try to tint this to match the rest of my car, I have limo tints. That's how I bought my Supra. It had limo tints, the front windshield was already lightly tinted. I bought it like that and I, I, I dig it. I've always left it that way. So my idea is to tint this. And if I paint, say from here down, and leave this carbon exposed and the black tint, it'll kind of match, it'll kind of look like the car now, just like the black window really uh, with the blue door. So I like the idea of that, but I'm not sure. The event's coming up fast. I'm not sure how soon I'll be able to get this painted. Chances are it won't be before Florida 2K. I'll likely show up with just the carbon exposed doors. No time wasted, baby. I went straight for the passenger door. That's the first box I had open. The other box is still right here. I came to the car and I ripped that door off in a hurry. Next step is I'm putting it on the scale. Guys, this thing feels crazy heavy. This is the door, the door skin with speakers over there. But it feels like a lot. I was expecting it to weigh about 65 pounds. Let's see how close to that it really is. Let's see. I hope it's at least 65. 58.11. Right, I'm going to call it 59 pounds. So 59 pounds, just the door and glass. Let's see what the inside skin weighs. I've weighed that in the past, but I can't remember. Let me see. This part here is not heavy at all. This is... Oh, crap. That's more than I thought. It's showing 8.5 ounces. So I want to say I rounded up to 59 for the door. So I'll count these five ounces towards that. So let's say 59 and eight. It's exact. I was thinking 65. We're looking at 67 pounds. Yep, this is this is eight pounds, five ounces. So 67 pounds per door. And my crazy ass, once upon a time, I actually, a buddy of mine had a JDM Supra. When I felt his door, the right-hand drive super, the doors are extremely lighter. They feel lighter. And I read online the reason for that is they don't have such strict safety requirements. So they don't have crash bars inside. 
So I took to a grinder and tried getting rid of my crash bars to make my doors lighter. This was, I don't know, five years ago, seven years ago. So some of that metal work has been cut out. Not even, not a lot of it, but just like one little piece. It was a lot of work to take it out. You can see it there. It was a lot of work to take out. I thought it was gonna be easy. So I took out, I don't even know, about a foot, about a foot's worth half of the pipe. I, that's not even probably, maybe a pound at most. But that was a crazy old Pedro. But anyhow, I said 59 and eight, 67 pounds. Now let's get the carbon one out of the box. Let's get that on the scale. There, you're the best. You've helped me build my whole car. Just you and me, baby. Yeah. And we're gonna run how fast? Yeah. Now, how many seconds? Ten. Ten seconds. That's slow. Fifty hundred. No, a smaller number. Fifty. No, smaller than fifty. A little number. Tell me a little number. One. Look at me. Six. Six seconds, baby. Yeah. All right, now, I know you like to go in and out of the house like a million times, but this cannot fall, okay? Love you. Thank you, baby. All right, family. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like the Supra window door. It feels kind of pro modish. <laughs> Looks crazy. All right, guys, I just unbolted the door from the box let's pull this door and see what it weighs i mean just from moving it around it feels light crazy light i'm expecting around 10 pounds so it's a massive difference yeah this thing is a feather i'm gonna pull it out gently let's go all right guys some of the cool features about this door and why i went this route so clearly i went this route because i'm desperately now on the hunt for a six second pass I've built this car for almost 11 years now. I've already gone to 737 and I went larger on the turbo. I, I did a ton of changes, added more fuel. It'll be silly for me to set a goal anything but a six second. So I don't know, to say, to say my new goal is a 72 or 71, like why not just push for that 69? I don't expect it to come easy, judging by a lot of other racers online with multiple platforms. I know the struggle is real to go that fast, but I'm committed and I'm ready to go for it. So that's why I went this route, right? To save weight, save as much weight as possible to be able to achieve these goals. Oops. I'm still gonna keep my factory doors. I could always pop those guys back on to cruise on the street. Um, but these doors, the benefit of these doors to me are some of the nice features of this particular company, how they do it, is they've gone ahead and created a frame around the, the window where super doors traditionally don't have a frame. It's, the window just slides up and that's what seals. So a lot of the other carbon companies don't have a frame so when you do a lexan window you have to when you do this you have to put these like metal bars inside to kind of hold, like a little metal bar structural frame around the plastic window with the with the brace in the middle things like that with this style you don't have to do that at all so that's cool um, i mean it also looks pretty badass but that's nice the reason i also went lexan window over say my factory glass again is if i'm already going to spend this type of money this isn't cheap if i'm going to spend this type of money to wait to get weight savings i want all the weight savings i can get again i could always just pop my other doors back on i didn't want to say do the car i've seen other people and again in multiple different platforms do a carbon door and install the electric power window motor back in install the glass back in when they're all said and done they save 20 30 40 pounds i'm not going to spend thousands of dollars to save 30 pounds i'd rather save 100 pounds which is going to be our case let's get this on the scale and see what it weighs All right, I'm getting 11 and change pounds. 11.8 pounds. I hope you guys can see that there. There it is, 11.8, 11.9. Again, I'm just kind of balancing them on my finger, but that's solid right there. 11.8 pounds, and we took out 67. So that's 50 something, 55, 56. Let's call it 55, we're saving 55 pounds per door now i'm going to move the handle over so whatever let's call it 54 53 still over 100 pounds in weight savings by going to these doors that's a win in my book let's get these bad boys installed see how it looks all right family don't mind my little man crying inside the house guys these doors 
perfect 10 out of 10. I am a thousand percent satisfied. Check out the fitment on this thing. So it installed within minutes. I've done this super fast with really no tools. Like it, I've had to do zero. This is the first carbon thing that I've ever bought that's required no trimming. I, I wore sweatpants today, not wanting to get that carbon fiber itch. Guys, I haven't had to trim nothing. Look at the fitment on this. Like probably better. Honestly, I think it's better than factory. Like here, it's spot on. Look at these lines. Better than factory. Don't mind. I'm missing the plate, the pieces that go, the, the piece that goes here during a burnout, I ripped off or during a race or something, but I have to put it back on. Guys, the fitment at the bottom, perfect. Look at this line going up. You absolutely cannot make that up. Like you can't beat that. Look how tight it is to here, how tight it is all around the windowsill. A thousand percent satisfied. I would bet money that fits better than what Toyota designed back in 94 unheard of i put my my factory handle back over here check me out bam it weighs absolutely nothing give it a bam rattles a little bit but don't worry about that but there she is perfect fitment i love it